Okay, so let's create a project and this is going to be a C sharp Windows form project and I'm naming one snake game. So I click OK to create the project. Alright, so the project is created and we need to set our form and put some elements on it. So let's go to toolbox and everything in our game will be done inside a picture box. So let's drop a picture box on our form and let's set the properties of the picture box. So with the picture box selected, go to properties and we need to set the name. I'm going to name it pick game board and we need to set a size and the size is going to be 420 by 420 because remember each image is going to be 35 pixels and our game board is 12 elements so 12 times 35 is 420 obviously it's 12 because it also accounts for the wall 10 by 10 is just for our game board but then there is a, a wall on the left top right and the bottom so we have to account for that too and therefore like i said the size will be 420 by 420 and my properties are off the screen so let me just make it smaller here so you can see it better so size down here is like i said 420 and 420. so let's drop it on the form and make the form flow around it a little the size of the form doesn't matter like i said everything is gonna be done within the picture box but let's click the form now and at least change the name and the name of the form I'm just going to call it FRM snake. The text on the form we don't have to change it because that's going to simply display the score and it will be dynamically updated as we move the snake. Another thing we need is a timer because with every tick of the timer the snake moves. So let's drop a timer and if you drop it on the form it actually is not part of the form it goes down here. And we need to set the interval and I'm going to set it to 300 which is obviously 300 milliseconds so that's fairly fast if you want it slower you can make it maybe half a second actually let's do that 500 now as for the name we can leave it as is because we only have one timer but I'm still just gonna name it timer rather than timer one and we'll set the enable to true because when the game starts we want the snake to start moving so that's our timer and one last thing we need is the images of the bonus and the snake as well as the walls and we can store all these images in an image list so let's import that here's the image list again drop it on the form and again it goes down here so let's click the image list go to the properties and name the image list as emg list and we want the image size to be 35 by 35 so if it was something else let's say 16 or 16 make sure you change it to 35 and 35 now we need to import the images into our image list so here where it says images it expects a collection of images so i'm going to click and browse for those images so here they will be placed i'm go and i'm going to go to add images and these are the images i have them in a on a desktop and a snake folder but wherever you have them simply find the folder select all of them and click open and you can see the images are now imported into our image collection and over here the physical dimensions for each of these images is 35 by 35 pixels important thing to note is the order of these images because obviously that's very important so the first four in our case is the bonuses bonus one two three and four so that's the first four indexes starting from zero now index four is the snake body and index five is the snake head and the last index index six is the wall again this is important because obviously when we draw the images on the board we want to draw the correct ones so this is done let's click ok 
end. Our form is now ready and we are ready to code.